mischaracterized a bit as the stomach flu is spreading misery this season. Fox 11's Alex Ronaldo tells us tonight how some local restaurants are working to stop the spread of the gastrointestinal disease. Unlike influenza, you don't catch norovirus through the air. You actually have to touch where the organism is lying and then consume it. And once you ingest it, norovirus wreaks havoc on your gastrointestinal system. Symptoms include vomiting, diarrhea, and fever. Mickey Gold is an assistant infection preventionist for ThetaCare. She says the illness is spreading quickly in the Fox Valley. You don't need as much antigen to spread norovirus as you do influenza. Doctors say there are about 63% more cases this year than last. And Fox 11 did a fact check and found that according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, norovirus causes 49% of foodborne illness. So local restaurants are being extra vigilant to stop the spread. There's things we do every day, you know, all the time, you know, absolutely washing hands. You know, nice hot water, antibacterial soap, you know, a good 20 seconds. Washing silver and flatware is also part of the healthy routine. And because norovirus can be transported on food from restaurant vendors, so is careful preparation. Preparing um, things properly and really watching that cross-contamination and sanitizing properly. And if staff members feel sick, they do not come in. That's one thing we do. Yeah, we definitely say stay home. These are all normal practices for the restaurants, but with news of norovirus spreading, it just serves as an important reminder. It's our reputation, and um, it's nothing that we can take lightly. And Gold says it's not just reputations at stake, it's sometimes lives. People can die from norovirus, mainly due to dehydration. In Appleton, Alex Ranallo, Fox 11 News. You can lessen your chances of getting the norovirus by washing your hands regularly and cooking your own food properly. If you do get the disease, drinking lots of fluid will help prevent dehydration, help you get through the disease, which usually takes no more than 48 hours.